Okay, we're back. I didn't you know, really put it away. I just basically had to you know, keep this below 10 minutes, and I got to start my clock again. So I'm gonna put this for 10 minutes again. And start again. We're still collecting the food from in the enemy village. We got a giant, <laughs> giant one of our air, my creatures, which is awesome to see. Those are kind of rare to see sometimes. That's one of my early rares ones. So now that we have the fishing pole, that means we have another source of, in, of food. Which means it's going to be a lot easier for us to get food. And I think... Actually, we got fishing spots really close. Just gotta look across uh, here, see if we can see fish. And I don't see fish actually. Huh, weird. Thought there was one out there. Well, hang on one moment, and I'm gonna uh, check something. Okay, we're back. I just had to change something really quick. I wanted to change the full screen so I could actually see the map better. It does show a fishing spot here. Must not be able to see it. Weird. Well, there's another one here. As you can see, there's fish there. Didn't see one. Huh. That's weird. Must be dead. Well, first off, I want to make sure that these are all neutral towards me. They are... Lavender Village just hates me. So I'm actually going to bring them a gift. To try and... Uh, Relieve some of the tension. Same with the green village. If I can do that, then it makes it a lot easier for me to basically either befriend them or not later on in the game. So let's check around. I think I killed that nest. Let's see if we can find any. Yep, there's some animals right here. Okay, they oblivious to our existence. Good. Which means, yep, they're both, they both don't really mind that we're here. So they're not going to attack us straight off the bat for a while at least, thankfully. Now the Cyan Village is really the only neutral one here. Now we could try and uh, befriend them all, or in my opinion I don't really want to befriend them all. There's one village that I know I'm going to want to later on, but for now... I don't really want to. Now we're going to select them all again. And get ready. Because we're going to get a lot of meat from this, hopefully. And there we go. There's some more. Come on. Come a little closer. There we go. And it only works for two. And two poison blasts, then it stops working. So, I quickly you know, use all of our tri my tribe members to collect all the food really quickly and then head on home. This is where it, when having a large tribe really helps out. So, let's see what they're doing. They're either going to try to steal food from us or they're going to raid. And I don't feel very comfortable. Having them come here. Oh wait, oh, wrong side. There. They're chasing after something? I think they're just trying to loop around us. Oh! They're a, uh... Fruit eaters. So they're actually trying to get food themselves. They got food from plants. That's what they were doing. Okay, that makes more sense. Because you got to be careful sometimes. Now, I'm not going to attack them because they are neutral towards me. But if they did hit, try to steal my food, I would have to start attacking them. Now, let's check the green village. We have fishing poles, flame, and maracas. And in this lavender village, 
They have maracas healing. And stone axes. Ooh, that's a deadly combo. Over here they have, let's see. They have throwing spears. The, uh, the trumpet again. And by the looks of it, harvesters. Since they are not meteors like us. So, now that we have a good supply of food again, well actually it's not really that good of a supply because we're not producing constantly. So I'm going to actually try to find a cool looking creature to befriend. That actually looks pretty cool, but not as cool as it could be. Let's see, let's have a look around. That looks like I killed that one off again. Another one right here. They actually look kind of cool. So I'm not gonna take their. I'm gonna take that one actually. What you can do in, in when you have a social uh, stance on, you can actually right click on a wild animal and you might get a chance of actually making it into cattle basically. Can basically have it for a portable food spot. And once you domesticate one type of animal, it's permanent. You can come back here if one of them dies and then get another one. You can see he goes from neutral towards me and then happy towards me. And he t his color turns red with us. And he starts. Uh, our creature starts to lead him towards our tribe's camp. And that creature just doesn't like us at all. <laughs> Ow. And now that and he's on our side, he will attack for us. You just gotta be careful because he does have a limited amount of health and it's hard to heal him. And he just continues on. And we're gonna continue leading back to our village. And we'll be placing him here. So now we're gonna have a more stable food supply than using traps. Now, if I could find where that stupid fishing spot was, I could actually get... Where is it? Where is this fishing spot? It's supposed to be right here. We're in this little cove, I guess. Where it's supposed to be. I guess I can't see it. I think I just saw one right there. I don't know. Okay, so I'm going to get a couple fishing rods. Because then I can actually check over here. So there was one right there. I just didn't see any fish from it. Aw, oh, damn it. The Lavender Village. They dislike us now. And they're the ones with the uh, healing rockets and the stone axes which is the healing is kind of bad but we still have to deal with them so the rest of the tri I'm gonna get the rest of my tribe except for them get them into stone axes now since they have nine they have a full nine company well full nine in squad but, no, village sorry I'm thinking army in <laughs> terms but did another ear animal try to steal my food? Uh, nope. His own fault. I'm gonna wait and eat a little bit so I can actually get some food for my fishing. Once they come back, then I'll uh, have them. But you know what? I'm gonna have them do it now. We're gonna go attack the Lavender Village and see how well we can do. Because if we can catch them at the right time, they won't have. You know, stone axes like we do right now. If we can do that, then it makes it a lot easier on us. Oops. Well, 
that's the 10 minutes. Not really that big of a thing, so I'm going to probably, no, I'll end the video here, so I'll be back shortly. See ya.